Hi everyone, it's Sally Ensor Smith and this is going to be my rant day. Uh, I've never done this on social media before, but to be honest with you, I'm so sick and tired of opening up social media and seeing videos of people breaking into people's shops, destroying property, burning down buildings that don't belong to them, that have cost taxpayers money to rebuild. And to be very honest with you, I'm living here in South Africa and uh, we have had enough. So this is going to be my rant. Um, if you don't like what I'm going to say, you can unfriend me, unfollow me. To be very honest with you, I don't give a shit anymore. Because what I do care about is the future generation of not only our country, South Africa, but of the world. Because where we are right now is we are raising up people to incite hatred and to keep bringing up stuff, shit that happened fucking years ago and I was born in 1971 I went to school I always had different colored friends that were not the same skin tone as me but we were friends and I only started learning about apartheid when I got into the working world uh, you know at the age of 18 19 20 now what we are doing right now, and this is a call out to the South African government, is that we are no longer your people. Because what you did right now through COVID is you went and took the food that we were busy chewing and about to swallow and you try to rip it out of our throats. You haven't just stolen the food which is on our plates. And the people of South Africa have had enough. So what you've really done through COVID is you've shown that you want to keep the money in the hands of a select few. This whole BEE system is fucked up, okay, because there are new generation businesses coming up. The guys in their 20s and their 30s that have got better systems, they've got better delivery, they've got better services and products, and you're refusing to give them an opportunity to start their businesses because of a BEE quota, because those people are not in your inner circle, Mr. Government. So this is what I'm going to say to the people of South Africa specifically. It's time for us to say no more because I'm really concerned about the future generation. I'm halfway through my life. You know, I, I can leave. I can get on a plane and fuck off somewhere else. Okay. And it's not just a specific skin tone, which is exiting countries. It is people with any little bit of intelligence which is exiting. So South Africa, you're going to be left with no more people which are going to add value. Okay. And uh, the guy that I'm following at the moment, Brizzy Timbermarco, brother, I want you to take over the country. You've got my votes, even though you haven't thrown your hats in for us to vote for you. So South Africa, step the fuck up, as he says. Okay. Governments, everybody in any government position right now, whether you are working in the municipality or whether you're in procurement or whether you're in the government, we need to get to get rid of every single one of you because you all corrupt from the from the top down. And this is my rant today. I think we've had enough. And I think that the youngsters at school have had enough of apartheid and what a previous generation did being shoved down their throats. I think that kids coming out of school today, all they really want to do is they want to go into the world and make an impact and build a legacy for their generation. They want to build something that they can put their name to. And South Africa, we're not doing that at the moment. So this is my rant. I hope that some of you are going to make my video go viral. I hope you're going to make your own videos. I hope that you're going to stop signing petitions and sending emails because that's doing jack shit. Okay. And it's time for us to vote the current government out and get people in that understand business, understand what it takes to build a business from the bottom down, not given it as a privilege. Because what privilege really means today is that you are given shit that you didn't work for. That's what privilege means in South Africa. There's a select privileged few which are sitting and keeping the money in circulation within who they know rather than putting it out there and we sick and tired of the fraud and the corruption we sick and tired of the lies we sick and tired of the bullying we sick and tired of you know everything that you're doing right now we've had enough so uh there's lots of stuff on social media and you can hide it as much as you like 
the animosity is coming but the animosity is not coming in the for, in the form of racism it's coming in the form we are not going to allow you to break us and we're not going to allow you to stop us from building this country and any other country because every other country is also having their riots and their strikes and these 20 to 30 year olds coming in and flipping burning shit and breaking into buildings and stealing stuff that they don't don't actually deserve and taking the livelihood away from good hard businesses which have been worked you know so um i've just had enough today it's my tuesday rant so this is what i'm going to tell you is that we're not going to stop because we've got unborn children that we need to build a legacy for we were born in this country we belong here just as much as anybody else. So stuff everybody who doesn't think we belong here. And I'm looking for the people that want to actually do business. I'm looking for the people that want to say, you know what? Uh, we've worked hard to get through school. And then we've worked hard to go out there and think of a new business. And then we've worked hard and we've got the, we've got like no fear to go out there to start a business. Okay, it's not easy. It's easy to go find a job and, and do your 8 to 5 and get paid your, your salary if you're in government. If you're in government, don't pretend. Okay, if you're an entrepreneur, then you've done business because you know the hardships that come with it. So I'm asking for you guys to send this viral. My name is Sally Ensel Smith. I'm coming to you from Durban, South Africa. I want to see a change in the world. I want everybody to step up and make a difference and stop the fighting, stop the burning, stop the hatred and step the fuck up and own your day.